The major outcome I hope from this uh, workshop is the validation of this content and of the approach. The main uh, objective I hope from the series from the series of uh, workshop we are holding is to disseminate the knowledge around Africa about the use uh, of wireless. We really thought the wireless networking was most important where it's not just a luxury, but it's basically your only chance of getting connectivity. Uh, implementing wireless is, is not only the fastest, it's also the most cost effective, and it's the easiest way to implement any type of communications, being it for internet, being it for voice, being it for whatever. You can build your own generator, you can use water or solar or whatever without bringing something from the outside. Also, all things concerning towers and antennas, obviously you can ship everything from outside, but you can also find trees or buildings or things like that to have antennas very high without using a tower. And you can even build your own antennas. I think you go wireless because, you know, it's an alternative you know, to the lack of investment for, for a wire network. You know, I define always there's two kind of worlds. You know, one is the the world that you pay things to pay someone to do the things for you, and the other kind of world is the world that you learn how to do things yourself. And I think there's something not really technological itself, but I think try to then think in that way. You know, don't wait for buying a software. Don't wait for buying a network. You know, you have the tools. You just move your ass and start to do things. Uh, basically, what I was most interested in was finding out how one can actually go about setting up these wireless networks, because I can read the theory anywhere, anytime. So this will probably be incorporated into the curriculum, and we plan to kind of set up research projects with the students. What I, I thought I was going to learn to know more about wireless, because it is not practical in my curriculum, so and we intend to connect other schools around us because we have a visa. So cabling up to the hospital is really cumbersome and it, it has some cost implication. But now since this wireless technology has come in and we have started acquiring the skills, then it will be good to, to, link, to, to link the hospital. Nowadays we're working for a big project to, to implement uh, tele centers in our post war regions. And because this is a very, very huge uh, area, uh, wireless communication uh, will be the, the best solution to connect that, uh, that telecenters and those uh, village in that, those area. I can say I'm happy because now I know how to secure my network and to install or add access point. I believe I won't have to look for the experts because that would be very costly. I believe even with this teamwork with my people, we can work together and uh, use that expertise. Because after setting up, there's also a challenge on how to maintain this uh, wireless network so that it is effective and efficient. From the training I've gained, I have already a vision that I'm making a lot of mistakes of what I did in the past, and I have solutions to correct them just at the moment I'm standing right now. In the rural settings, this telephone infrastructure is vulnerable to weather conditions. So wireless, I think, is the only solution which can come in and help us in that. Yeah, so I believe actually this week in Zanzibar uh, will be actually it's a profound imp uh, uh, importance, especially to, to me and to the, my community I left behind. Yes. I never thought like you can make antennas on your own. I thought like this is something which has to be done by vendors somewhere there. And it was amazing to realize like you can improvise and come up with your own antennas and they will achieve the same same goals you could you could achieve with those vendor specific antennas. So I must say that was a very a, a new area. I never thought like it is possible. Using basic computer parts that you find at just about any computer store uh, and some tin can made antennas that were only finished about an hour before we left and had never really been properly tested into a functioning wireless link. And we tested this using a voice over IP. 
and uh, we send messages, we're able to send messages to the people at um, Tony Center and we're able to communicate well. I think this is good and uh, we hope we'll be able to do more research on this. They were able to talk to us all huddled on a little boat bouncing around on the side of an island at, uh, in the Indian Ocean. You know, in, in the, at the kind of end of the chain, what I'd really like to achieve is to see disconnected people getting connected in networks that they own, that they can manage, that they can support. This is the beginning of a round of workshops and it's really gratifying to see that it's worth it. If they do what we hope, take these skills back, then I feel quite optimistic about this project. Very optimistic. So you can't give somebody connectivity, you can't give them A, B, C, D and leave them there. You have to create that awareness, create the interest, tell them the value of information. Now what do I do? Sraki, Sraki, can you ping me? Ping me, just be ping now. Ha, ha, ha.